<laughs> so this is my final project that Mo assigned, and it is, as I understood the assignment at least, it is um, any way that we can express, we, any way that we interpret and express uh, the eight choices of successful students that are in this own course book. So for the first choice of successful students, it is accept personal responsibility. And the way I interpret that is, for me, it was recognizing that every single moment of my life, every second that I live in, whether it's great or not great, is a consequence of my actions. So in that, I know that consequences are not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I ended up in this class by making irresponsible decisions. And I learned a lot from that. So to be able to acknowledge to myself, just on a personal level, that, that every of my life is my creating is extremely empowering. It allows me to know that I can change it and it's going to be painful. It is painful. It has been painful. My entire quarter in this class, I had perfect attendance and I was productive and I was just like suffering in my home life and I, it's what I needed to do to change the momentum that I had created in my life that was going into a less than happy place. This is one of my favorite choices. Uh, the second choice of successful students is they discover self-motivation. My interpretation of that is do something right now that your future self will thank you for. Our days are full of moments. And whether I'm sitting here at my computer and it's just an email to Pauline, whether I'm laying on my bed and it is taking the clothes out of the dryer and hanging them up instead of leaving them in the dryer, there's a million things that I can do to enhance my future and I can do them every second and every minute of every single day. So if I stop and think in any given moment, do something right now that your future self will thank you for. There's always something that can be done to prepare. And going into every moment optimally prepared um, is a peaceful and easy feeling, I think. It's nice, it requires work, it requires consistent work, consistent effort. And what I've learned through this is that life is, life's not easy. I almost wanna say that life is hard. The thing I've discovered though is it's it's rewarding. To call it rewarding is an understatement. It's rewarding beyond my wildest dreams. So every effort has a, every effort in my life and everything I do has something that it brings into my life. And I can con control to a certain extent what is brought into my life by what kind of choices I make. The third choice of successful students is they master self, excuse me. Yes, they master self-management. And for this one, the way I interpret it is stating that destiny is the offspring of purposeful action. And I don't know if you've gotten there in your own course book yet, but purposeful action is, is an action that you engage in with a desired outcome an outcome that is pursuant to your goals and dreams and what you truly value in life. So from my personal experience, um, watching TV and like doing the scrolly scroll on Facebook does not get me closer to the things that I truly value in life. But being engaged in purposeful action, which is a little bit, I think, what I call the hard yet extremely rewarding stuff. Um, anything, it's any action that pursues my goals and dreams. And values in life. Um, the fourth choice of successful students is they employ interdependence and for that I have I cultivate mutually beneficial relationships. I struggled with this one I didn't know if this was how I wanted to state it. Uh, ultimately when I was thinking about it this morning I'm glad that I did state it this way. The way I define mutually beneficial relationships at this point in my life is people who people who support me and I'm able to support them back. Whether it is somebody from this class who texts me saying that they're having a hard time and I'm like, okay, great, we'll meet up in the math tutoring center. Let me show you this place. Like, we will be there together because it's motivating. Um, we can go back and forth. I can text them when I need something. Um, just relationships on campus, like we are all, in, we're all people going hopefully um, with a similar future. 
Okay, so the fifth point choice of successful students is that they gain self-awareness. For me, gaining self-awareness was recognizing that either I can suffer the pain of discipline or I can suffer the pain of regret. And regret sucks. Regret hurts. Living a life filled with regret of the things that you don't have and what might have been, and especially when you're in control of every single speck of your life, um, is so painful. Discipline is also painful, but it comes, it, it reaps rewards, humongous rewards. We are Americans, like we can have anything we want. We can achieve anything we want. It's just a matter of putting in the effort and the discipline. For me, the discipline is consistent. Uh, consist the consistency is a huge part of it. Um, consistent, positive choices. Another choice, the fifth choice, sixth choice of successful students is that they adopt lifelong learning. And the way I interpret that is say, stating that it takes a lifetime to learn how to live your best life. For me, I'm, I've learned, I've grown so much since being in this course. Um, I think for myself, a lot of the growth well, I've never, I've never attempted academically the things that I'm currently attempting to have been attempting since I landed here on September 19th, 2016. Um, also in my personal life, something I've done, which I've never done in my life, is uh, I cut out all the distractions. I spent many, many, many years of my adult life smoking pot every single day and drinking and smoking cigarettes. And I don't do any of those things anymore because I just, I see them as distractions to my growth. And this is only my situation. I'm not speaking for anybody else. And the growth that has been, the growth that I've experienced in that has been phenomenal. I'm learning how to cope with life with like no crutches. And it's incredible. I never thought that I would be doing this today. So doing this in my, doing that in my personal life combined with my academic endeavors has been extremely amazing. It's exciting. Seventh choice of successful students is they develop emotional intelligence. And for that, I said, never let your intelligence overpower your emotions. Don't say things that you're gonna regret. Don't do things that you know are, are gonna create a situation in your life that is gonna make your life harder. If you say something, follow through on it. Keep moving forward. Keep the positive momentum going. And just always be aware. Make your decisions from your head, using your, using your brain instead of what you feel in the moment. Do what you know is best. And the eighth one, the eighth choice of successful students is they believe in themselves. For this one, this is actually my favorite Bible verse. It's Proverbs 31, 25, and it states, she is clothed in strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. Um, I love it. The first time I ever heard that, I loved it, because I used to be scared to laugh. So anyways, this is, this is the woman I aspire to be, and that's why I spoke to this. Thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> So one of the reasons why I wanted you to redo this was obviously the benefit for other students, but there is an interdependence, right, piece to it, because you gain something from it also. And oftentimes we do assignments and it's just a checklist, okay, I got this done, on to the next one. <coughs> and so now it's a quarter later and you're able to still articulate the things that you've taken from the class a quarter later and you're continuing to apply those things. <coughs> And so that's really important. It's not just this, hey, I got it done, I'm on to the next. You know, you're still working on these things and they're still present to you. You know, I just said, hey, will you just come in here cold? And I think you thought that you were just going to show those and not present, right? I thought right? I was going to drop them off on the table and, and then leave. look at them at their own convenience. So to me, that's a very powerful thing that you, you embody this, you're living this, right? This is truly what being impeccable with your word is all about, right? is setting that plan with yourself, that agreement with yourself, and then trying to live up to that agreement on a daily basis. True story? True story. So the other thing that I wanted to ask you about is 
Um, you are a computer major, mm -hmm. right? And you're an exceptional student. Thank you. Uh, and you chose to take General Studies 124, mm -hmm. which is kind of a continuation of this class. There's some different elements, but there's some crossover things with time management and, and whatnot. We saw the Covey Quadrants in that class. And so thinking back on it, you're going to do a capstone presentation on that. But do you regret taking that class? Is there things that you've learned from that? Uh, just articulate that. Because some people might think, well, I mean, I've, I've taken this, so why would I continue on with the, with the course like that? I don't regret taking it. I'm still in Gen S 124. I'm able to build on the skills that, I'm, that I started learning in this class. I'm still fine-tuning them. I'm, I'm definitely growing more in that class. And especially for me, being having the large gap between high school and college, um, being so new, I think it's great. I'm still learning and growing in that class. I don't regret taking it. And I also, I'm also grateful because I feel like it was, um, well, I don't know about grateful actually, but I do feel like it was more of a gentle bump into a full-time accredited class schedule because I had the accredited class schedule built up in my head is like, whoa, I know I came here four days a week. Um, anyways, so I, it's further growth for me at least, um, in that class. Did you take this class from start to finish? Yeah, I was here the first day um, since September 19th. So, because some of us kind of came in late to the class, do you recommend possibly taking it again to finish the entire course, or would something going back into 124 be more beneficial? I don't know you guys that well. Off True. the top of my head, and what I would do is yeah. I would I would get into accredited courses and I would take Tennis 124. Mm -hmm. but that's for Dear me. Um, I don't know you well enough. I want to, I would want to give you just the best advice possible. Um, that's what I do for myself. So the course is very different. So can you compare and contrast some of the things that you you're, you're taking away from it? Since you're saying, hey, you know, I'm glad I took it. Well, I mean, what is the benefit? Is it reinforcing the things that you learned in here? Are there different things that you're taking away from it? It's reinforced. There's some reinforcement. There's a higher. There's a much higher level of accountability. That's more in line with accredited courses. Um, and I'm being, I'm getting the, the actual grade. I can see how, if I turn in an assignment late, I see how it affects my life. If I am absent from the class, I see how it affects my life. And it's not just in that class. If I was to be absent in a different class, it would do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's more, it, I guess, I think, feel like it's more real life, simulates more real life accredited course situations than this class did. I had a different instructor in this class. I don't know if things have changed or not. Um, there is different material. There is a little bit of the material that is same, the same which you can go into. Um, see how things change for you from last quarter if you do decide to do that. And then there's a decent, there's a good amount of new material in that class. Uh, just take it and run with it and grow. Do all your assignments on time. Come up with a checklist. I recommend that. It never even occurred to me in my whole life to do a checklist until just a couple weeks ago. Uh, create a checklist for every single little milestone that you know you need to complete and what do you need to complete it on. Because um, when you're in the accredited classes, like it is, I've heard Marwan use the term before, high stakes. It's extremely high stakes, I think. Because it, um, your final grade goes on your transcript. It's a matter of permanent record. It's going to affect all your other GPAs. Uh, I totally see this now, and I think it's a good, it'll help you into that gentle bump along with some other accredited courses, of course, but you're full time. So do we have questions, comments, or thoughts for Shannon? I'm really happy for you, Shannon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 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 And so the difference is where last quarter they were to articulate the eight choices, here you need to pick two from each textbook and computers to talk about, right? So to at least two. And with a small group, we'll have to do the math on that and see, do you want to do 10 minutes? Do you want to do 15 minutes? Um, but how long do you articulate each one, okay? But as long as you're talking about two from each. So what are the two habits? What are the two agreements? What are the two choices? What did you take away from computers? You might consider putting your mission statement in there, maybe even at the start or at the end, right? And how your mission statement was created based on your experience through the class and how that 
was formatted, okay? And again, you can do more than two, but you just need to at least do two from each one. And then practice your timing, because that's important. What I recall from this class is that it was really important to know for our final project that whatever we created, it was something we could hang on our bedroom wall. So we could carry it with us for years beyond this course. And that's why I made mine as pretty as I did. A lot of wall space. <laughs> what did you say? It's a lot of wall space. Uh, it's actually, well, no bad thing. No bad thing. Right. Okay. Any other questions, comments, or thoughts? All right. Gives you some pretty good ideas. All right. Well, thank you, Shannon. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Applause. <laughs>